Answer is 145. Answer is 4. Answer is 137. Answer is 4. Answer is 31. Pick up a number from 1 to 10. The winning numbers today are 4 and 6. Homework check is going to be the after test assignment from Friday. The objective today is ninth grade patterns, functions, and algebra number one. It's the first red card on the wall. I can determine if a relation is a function or not. It'll be a yes or no answer <coughs> for those problems. The first example f of x equals 2x plus 5. This is a function. And that's how it's written. This is pronounced f of x equals 2x plus 5. But it can also be written as y equals 2x plus 5. The y takes the place of the f of x, so it becomes an equation. You can generate a list of ordered pairs by using this function. You can enter in numbers in the domain, which will be the x values. And once you enter in a number for the x value here, you can simplify it and come up with what y equals. And that is the range. The range represents the output from the function. The domain is the input. So if I enter in the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 into this, I'm entering in number 1 for x. If I do that, I should get back a 7. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 5 is 7. If I put a 2 in, I should get back a 9. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 5 is 9. And if I put in a 3, I should get back 11. 3 times 6 is, or 3 times 2 is 6, plus 5 is 11. And if I put in a 4, 8 plus 5 is 13. So the output that we had, we entered in a 1 and got back a 7. So the ordered pair is 1, 7. I entered in a 2 and came back with a 9. That's 2, 9 for the ordered pair, and so on. For every domain element, there is exactly one range element. If there's more than one, then the answer is no, it's not a function. Here is the first real example. You have a list of ordered pairs. This will be the x value. This is the y value all the way through. x, y, x, y, x, y. You should only have one, one in the x values. Only one, six only one four and only one five. If all of your x values are different, then the answer is yes. This is a function. Here's example number two. Can you spot anything in the x values in these that are the same? One and 1. Notice that the 1 is paired with 6 and the 1 is paired with 3. That's not possible. You cannot enter in a 1 into a function and get an output that is different when you put it in two different times. This is like a pop machine. If I put in 50 cents or a dollar, whatever it is now, if I put a dollar in there and hit this button, I should get back the same type of pop out of the machine. I should not be able to put in a dollar a second time and come back with a completely different type of pop. I should not get Pepsi one time and Mountain Dew the other unless the, the guy loaded it wrong. But a function means when you put something in you get the exact same thing out every single time. If you put a five in each time you should get back a specific same number each time. 
So the answer to this one is no, because we put in a 1 and came back with a 6. But later on, we put in a 1 and came back with a 3. That's not possible. Here's practice problem number 1. All you have to write is yes or no and drop it off up here. On the practice problem, you have a 7, 3, 4, and 8. Therefore, the answer is yes. They're all different. Bonus problem. Answer on the bonus should be 3x equals 13 plus 2, which is 3x equals 15. x must be 5. Practice number 2. You have 1, 6, 3, and 5. They're all different, so yes, this is a function. Bonus number 2. This should be negative 3x equals negative 40 plus 7. On the right side, that gives you a negative 33. Divide by negative 3 to get 11. Example number 3. You have a domain, which is on the left, and a range, which is on the right. Remember, this will be your x values, and these are the y values. This is what has been entered into a, uh, what could be a function, and this is what the output is, the result. The green arrows that go from the domain to the range essentially match up the ordered pairs. For example, 2 goes to 12, 3 goes to 9, 7 goes to 13, 9 goes to 16, and 11 goes to 12. Do you see any arrows leaving the range from a specific element more than once? Do you see something leaving 2 twice or just once? Just once, 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 and once. You don't have two lines coming from the same domain element. Therefore, the answer is yes. That is a function. Example number four. In this case, we only have one thing leaving here. But notice on the two element, you have it pointing to negative three as well as positive three. So that's what makes this one no. That is not possible. So that cannot be a function. Practice number three. On the practice problem, these arrows are leaving just once each time from each domain element, so that answer should be yes. Bonus number three. The solution on the bonus should be that you have negative 12 plus 9 on this side, which gives you a negative 3, so the final answer should be 3. Bonus problem, or not bonus, but practice problem number four. On the practice problem, there is only one arrow going from each domain element. They all point to the same range element, but that's fine. It's still a function. Bonus problem number four. The bonus should be 3x equals 9, which would give you an answer of 3. Graduation test problem of the day. On this one, 3 times x is 3x. 3 times a negative 6 is a negative 18. I should probably record this. I was recording, huh? So 3x minus 18 equals 4x, which comes from this multiplication, and then multiply 4 by the positive 7 to get plus 28. That should be answer D. Speed problems, there won't be enough time for those today. Example number 5. What are the range elements for f of x equals x squared minus 3 if the domain is 2, 4, and 6. The way you find this is the following. Put a 2 in for x. 
2 squared is 4, minus 3 is 1. And then put a 4 in. 4 squared is 16, minus 3 is 13. Put 6 in. 6 squared is 36, minus 3 is 33. This is your answer. Those are the range elements for f of x equals x squared minus 3 if the domain is 2, 4, and 6. Simply plug in the numbers and evaluate each time. Example number 6. What are the range elements for f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 1 if the domain is negative 1, 0, and 1? Plug in negative 1 here. Negative 1 squared is 1. If you put a negative 1 here, you end up with negative 2 times negative 1, which is a positive 2. And then you have plus 1 on the end. Add those up to get 4. Go back in and plug in a 0. 0 squared is 0. Minus 2 times 0 is minus 0. And then you have plus 1 on the end. Leaves you with just 1. Put in a 1. 1 squared is 1. Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 and then the plus 1 on the end from here. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, plus 1 is 0. 4, 1, and 0 should be your answers. That represents the range given this function and these domain elements. Simply plug in these numbers and evaluate to get however many numbers there are, in this case 3. Practice problem number 5. On the practice problem, if you put a 1 in for this, you should get back 4. If you put a 2 in, you should get back 9. If you put a 3 in, you should get back 16. Bonus number 5. This should be <coughs> negative x equals negative 12 minus 5. That is a negative 17 but you must divide by negative 1. The answer is positive 17. Practice problem number 6. For the practice problem if you put in a 2 it's 2 minus 1 which is 1 times 2 is 2 plus 2 is 4. If I put in a 5, 5 minus 5 minus 1 is 4, squared is 16, times 2 is 32, plus 5 is going to be 37. And then if I put in a 7, 7 minus 1 is 6, squared is 36, times 2 is 72, plus 7 is 79. Homework assignment for tonight. 